YouTube fam, how y'all doing? TM Nation, how y'all doing? What you're looking at is a pair of the newly released Space Q45 ANC headphones. And once again, I have to give a huge shout out to Soundcore for sending me a pair of these along with the new A40 earbuds. I did do a video on those as well. And if you're looking for a solid pair of all around earbuds, they're definitely worth a look. But getting back to the Q45s, I've had my pair for a few weeks now and I've used them in a bunch of different environments. I can tell you that these headphones are the best that I have at the price point. And while I'm on the topic of the price, these do retail for $149.99, but I'm sure that you guys are aware, when Soundcore drops new products, they usually have a special to go along with them, so I will leave the links in the description and any coupon codes that I come across. As far as the unboxing goes, you get everything you would need to get the headphones up and running. This includes your user manual and other documentation. You do get a nice leatherette type carrying case, and inside of that you have plenty of room for your headphones, of course. And once you open it up, you'll see that you have a 3.5 millimeter cable for wired use, and you'll also see that you have a USB type C cable for charging. And the battery life with these headphones is gonna be one of the highlights feature wise. You can get up to 65 hours on a charge using them without ANC, but even if you use them with ANC on pretty much the whole time, the numbers are still really respectable. You can get up to 50. Those numbers for me are gonna be more than I'll probably ever need, but it is worth noting that if battery life is your main concern, these do also feature fast charging that will give you up to four hours worth of use on only five minutes worth of charging. Comfort wise, these are also excellent headphones for me to wear for longer listening sessions. The ear pads are soft and plush and you do have sufficient padding on the top headband. Now, as you can see, they aren't the smallest headphones out there and on my head, they're also not the lightest, but again, they are comfortable for me to wear. I've never found myself in a situation where they felt like they were overly large or overly heavy. Another area where you're getting updated tech with these headphones is in the Bluetooth version. These are rocking 5.3, and so far I've been able to maintain a stable connection with my iPhone 13 Pro and my Pixel 6. So far watching YouTube videos and Amazon Prime movies has been completely fine. I haven't had any issues with any noticeable lag, but there was some lag when I did some mobile gaming, as these do not have a built-in low latency mode. But a couple of features that you do get with these are multi-point connection, and they're also compatible with the LDAC codec. I will say that if you have a LDAC compatible device, Having that higher definition sound is nice to have, but the multi-point connectivity is gonna be the main feature for me. I say this because even when I'm using the Q45s with my iPhone 13 Pro, these still sound really good in my opinion. Using the Apple AAC codec, I'm usually able to hear most of the detail in my music. This being the case, I see a little bit more value in the ability to connect these to two devices at once and seamlessly switch in between them. The Q45s are also compatible with the SoundCore app which has been stable for me up to this point I haven't had any issues with it freezing up or disconnecting and through it you have similar functionality to what you'll get with other Soundcore headphones you can see how much of a charge you have left access your ANC and transparency settings set the headphones to have a max safe listening level access Soundcore's library of built-in EQs or create your own and you can also customize your playback controls now now moving on and touching on the ANC and transparency performance, I definitely have to say that these perform well in both areas. According to Soundcore, these will reduce up to 98% of the noise going on around you, and I don't have a scientific test to confirm or deny this, but I can tell you that using these in the same exact environments as I use my AirPods Max headphones, I really do get similar performance between the two, and I'm sure that you guys are aware that those cost at least three times more, even when they're on sale. After doing quite a bit of testing with the Q45s, I think that they'll do just fine for public transit or if you're looking for a pair of headphones that will cancel out some of the noise on your plane ride, I think that these will get the job done. I also do like the fact that you can customize the strength of the ANC. I personally leave it in adaptive mode because that does perform well, 
but you do have that option. The transparency is also a little bit stronger than I thought it would be overall, but again, it is nice that you can customize the strength and you can also have it key in on voices. Sound quality wise, as I mentioned earlier, these sound really good in my opinion. Usually I can hear most of the detail in my music. Background instruments and vocals come through just fine. And these also do have a bass up option that you can enable through the app, which will bring up those low end frequencies just a little bit. But the beauty of these headphones is that you can EQ them pretty much any way that you want. I have mine to be on the brighter side with a focus on the highs and the bass, but if you want yours to be more balanced, you can do that. But overall guys, I don't have any complaints about the sound signature that I get with the Q45s. They get loud enough for my personal liking. And even on the couple of occasions where I did push them to the max volume, they did not distort that much. I also think that they do okay in terms of call quality. They are using two built-in mics with an AI driven noise cancellation algorithm that will focus on your speech while rejecting some of the noise going on around you. I have made quite a few voice calls using these and so far nobody has complained about how I sounded, but so that you guys can judge for yourselves, let's take a listen to a couple of samples. All right guys, so right now I have the headphones paired to my iPhone 13 Pro. As you can see, the microphones on them are recording this audio. Now I'm not gonna do any type of editing to this sample, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how these will perform for voice calls. And now I have some simulated background noise playing in the background. This part of the test is aimed at seeing how well the mics on these headphones will reject some of that noise and focus on my speech. So taking everything into consideration, fam, like I said earlier, these are the best ANC headphones that I have at the price point. To me, they're extremely comfortable to wear, but you're also getting that good battery life, that good audio quality, very good ANC and transparency performance, compatibility with the app, multi-point connectivity, and you're also getting respectable call quality, although I wish that the algorithm didn't make it sound so artificial at times. But besides that one shortcoming, I think that these are solid pretty much all around, and I think that they're gonna be hard to beat at the price point. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.